For your opinion about my dog, that's one thing. If right. I don't, I, I know my dog a little bit. Uh, I'll figure it out. Thanks, Daisy. Sit down. He's coming. He's coming. All right now. Blue bill. Nice. <laughs> nice. Back. I was about. Eight, nine, something like that. I was young. And my dad asked me if I wanted to go hunting. And I was all excited. I had to get up at like three. Decided to take a shower and put on perfume, just like most little girls do, and try to get myself as pretty as I could. And I walked out in the other room, and my dad put deer pee all over me and said, You're too pretty to go hunting. You grow up, and we all have parents that grow up. Mom stays at home, dad goes outside, men are hunters and gatherers, so to speak. And nowadays, women work just as well as men do. And it's hard because you still want to be a mom and you still want to go hunt. Washington, you can expect the rainy day ahead. We're going to check the forecast in just a moment, but first, good morning. I'm Richard Jordan. Here's a look at what else we're working on on this Saturday, January 11th. And I haven't run into many problems, but there are certain men, you know, you'll go out hunting and they'll be like, this is a man's sport. In general, waterfowl hunting has opened me with open arms, especially down here where we're hunting today. I think that our country was formed, and especially all of our states, on not only gardening, but also going outside and getting food. There wasn't a local grocery store. And there's no difference, and I've told this to others when they say, what do you do with all your ducks? Well, we eat them. You know, we don't kill anything that we're not going to take home and eat. And I have four children, and my husband and I, so we eat a lot of duck. I don't call hunting a sport. I never have. Everybody, I call it more of a passion. 